What's up guys, Hawk here and we're going to play our next game. And it is, here it is, the Mystery Case Files, the 13th Skull. Now, honestly, it's my second time trying to play this, so let's make our new one. So, Hawk. Alright, there we go, select. Now let's play. This is a point and click adventure game. Very fun game to play. It's also very challenging. Alright, acting on directives. Receive. This is also the other one I'm going to do as soon as I get it. Anyway, acting on directives received from headquarters. I procured a message from Great Britain to the southern tip of Louisiana in the United States. I must admit, a change of climate is welcome after I briefed the chilly stopover in the hamlet of Dyer Grove. I've been briefed little on the matter ahead, but a case of missing persons appears to be my latest undertaking. Typically, a lost individual concerned would fall under the jurisdiction of the local authorities. As many of my assignments pertain to the rather unusual circumstances, I can't help but feel a bit curious about such an apparently complex situation. That said, it's not often I receive an ordinary envelope on blazing with the extraordinary title of the 13th Skull. Ooh. So, I guess that's very important. Found some softly out of place. Perhaps doesn't make the home zone I could explore this further. Wheelbarrow full of shit is parked on the lawn. Path beside the manor. The muddy path leads around the back of the manor. After speak with the homeowners, I should see where this leads. Okay, um, here is a word of warning. I will be cl clicking the Windows button to go to the main page quite a bit to make sure the recording doesn't stop. So if it, so you will see a lot of this, in other words, so that I can, you know, check the Audacity files, make sure it's still going, make sure the recording's still going. You can't see it, but anyway, that will be happening a lot. So I'm sorry if it bothers you. I can't help it. I don't have a prop. I don't have the proper version of Bandicam. I'm using a trial version, so I can only record about ten minutes at a time. Anyway, Marcus G. Lawson. Marcus was last seen at the, this residence on the evening of October 17th. If you have any information, please contact Sarah Lawson at 555-1863. Sex? Yes, please. Uh, <laughs> he's a male. His race is Caucasian. He has brown hair. Uh, he has blue slash grey eyes. Uh, he's He's 5'8", uh, height, I'm taller than him. Ha ha! He's 175 pounds. Or LBs, whatever the hell. Who's the fire? Oh, God. Oh, can I not pick them up? I'm guessing I'm gonna have to. Detective, I'm glad you've arrived. My daughter and I are worried sick <sighs> about the disappearance of my husband, Marcus. Oh, no. We just moved here to Louisiana. Now he's missing, and I don't know what to do about it. The locals are all too afraid of some ridiculous curse to help us search for him. You're the only one who can find him and return him safely to us. Okay, then. Uh, so, yeah. Interaction with NPCs. Well, they're not NPCs, they're real people, but they're in the game, so NPCs would have a curse. Not long after we moved in, my husband became convinced this place was cursed by a ghost. Wow. The ghost of a pirate. Can you believe such nonsense? Well, kind of. I mean, he overheard the neighbors rambling on about a pirate's hidden fortune. A few days ago, he finds a map he believes has clues to the hidden treasure. Maybe just bug it off. He gets completely obsessed, starts tearing you know, this place apart. Treasure. And now he's missing. He's missing. Oh no! Whatever shall I do? I mean, I'm not a, de a detective. I'm not supposed to look for people. I mean, that's not the reason I'm here. What about the map? My husband found a map of the property not long after we moved in. Okay. With all the locals' talk of pirates, he thought it might be some sort <laughs> oh, of treasure sorry, map. I got snivels, as it's you know. there on the couch, but it looks like the dogs had its way with it. Oh God! You might have to search around a bit to find the missing pieces. Who says that, honestly? There's some tape around here. To keep it together. Okay. Honestly, who actually says that? Who says... Oh. No, I know how to play the game. So, I'll get that. So, there we go. We've got one piece of the map already. That's good. Let's go this way. And there's another piece. Let's have a look around a bit. Almost every surface. Um, there's a freaking moth. Mouse trap. Doesn't look like there's anything else in there. So, let's go this way. And there's another piece. Nice. Okay. Feel something behind the cab beneath the canvas of the weather paints. Okay. Uh China nature step China yields no clues. Uh can't expect that what about the box. Um uh, 
bunch of black. Oh, tape, tape. Yeah. Um, I'll be honest, I'm not very good at these point and clicky click click games. So, I'm sorry if I mess up a little bit. So, kitchen window is coated with dirt. Uh, check. Okay, five minutes. No problem. Inspective. Oh, right, here it is. Here's the meat of the game. With this, you basically you have to look for whatever is shown and click it. So, bone, pizza, bread there, uh, broccoli there, hand there. Also, with these, sometimes it goes to the same place, but it's usually always different. Scallions. What are scallions? Is it a fish? I'll go to that one later. Sausage. I still saw that. Prune. Ah, uh, prune. 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 Is that a prune? No. Those are ribs. That's something. This type of sauce. Uh, what's a, what's a prune look like? Uh, those are spring onions. We're not like these wrinkly, ugly things. I mean, I'll forget that Alaska. I can see that biscuit. There's a muffin there. Crawdad fish. Not that. Not that hard. To Sometimes there are some that I really hard to find. Biscuits, what are we looking for? Like a McVitie's or a digestive? What? What is this in here? Honestly, what is that? It looks like meatloaf or something. I think. Is that what it's called? Meatloaf? I know. Uh, but prune. I can't see a prune anywhere. I'm looking. There's cake, there's keys. Don't know what the hell that is. There's a ham there, there's some stew or something. There's some ribs, there's some foot. Oh, proof, proof, I see. What are scallions? I'm gonna click the. No, those are carrots, that's a pie. Is that scallions? Is that a scallion? What the ha Okay, I guess spring onions. Uh, scallions in America. This is an American game, I guess. Hang on, let me check recording. Seven minutes. Sorry, I, I was very paranoid because I recorded about 40 minutes last time, I think. And. Um. Uh, kind of messed up. Biscuit. I'm gonna click everything. What the hell? That's a biscuit? It's an ugly ass biscuit. I wanna dunk that in a coffee. Or tea. Oh, there's another map. This fucking cabinet. Um. Uh, no map piece in there. Let's go here. Shoot, shut up. Bugger. Put this bone here. Get this map piece. Now let me put these all here for now. Oh, put that there. Put this here. Come on, put that there. Put that there. Put that there. Okay, so I've got one more piece to look for. It's beyond his reach, apparently. This door's locked. Um, okay, so we're looking for one more piece. One more piece. Shouldn't be that difficult to find, hopefully. Ah! I see. Aha! Can't hide from me! These there, and then um, tape. This lawsuit leaves treasure map. Perhaps it holds clues to disappearance. Let me just talk to her. It looks like you've got the map pieced back together all right. Oh, it looks really, looks if really nothing happy. else, it should help you get your bearings around the estate. You might want to begin your investigation by speaking with Mary, the cleaning woman we hired. It sounds like she's working in the bedroom upstairs. Okay, then. Again, thank you so much for helping us, Detective. No problem. No problem. It is, it is my job. So we'll look at some more information. We were unexpectedly willed this old estate by Marcus's great aunt. He thought it was our big break. Oh. After some discussion, we sold our house and moved here from Ohio. If only we'd known what a run-down dump this place was. Oh God! Shut up. When? Our daughter Magnolia was the last person to see her daddy before he disappeared. 